Well, hello. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Dead or Spud. I'm an Alco Mac. Today's movie we're going for came out in 1988 and it's called Bad Dreams. The premise of this, apparently, um, a bunch of people go to commit mass suicide. One survivor, 13 years on, she comes out of a coma. And then the main guy who, you know, caused them all to kill themselves comes back and people are mysteriously dying. I think he's like a ghost-esque figure. I don't know. Interesting thing, it's the same lady who a year before was in Unlike Me on Elm Street 3 who played the punk lady. Okay, asshole. Let's dance. Which is also about a burnt kind of person killing people in a psych unit. And I don't think this film got sued. That's all I'm getting at, you know. Richard Lynch is a bad guy in this film, so it's always a positive, you know what I mean? Especially when he's a bad guy, you know, so... Is it going to be a rip-off of Nightmare on Elm Street 3? It sounds very similar. Same woman. Looks like she went from Nightmare on Elm Street 3 to this. So, like, to the same film. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Um, after my reaction and my review, do you agree with me? Um, if you actually have seen this film, what did you make of it? Otherwise, let's say no more and get on with Bad Dreams from 1988. That this will be the ultimate joining. But I've always been curious about people like this who can convince like a load oh, of man. people to mass suicide. Why don't you just join me in my car dealership? We can make some serious fucks here and no one has to die, mate, you know? I feel that much of a good salesman, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, look at it, like, kill myself, I'll fucking kill you. Alright, so they found her, the only survivor. The whole house blew up and shit like that, and like, she's not even slightly burnt or nothing, but they had people in body bags saying like, 25 are dead, lap, but, alright? Bullshit. Life and death are simply different states of being. You just cross into the next state. I love that. Life and death's the same thing, pretty much, isn't it? Well, like, yeah, yeah, sure, when I'm living, I can do this. When I'm dead, I'm in a ground fucking rotting. Yeah, same thing, mate. I love you. If I kill you, it's because I love you. Weirdly, the mind frame of a lot of my ex-girlfriends. Um, maybe the most realistic part of the film so far. Death and destruction. Anyway, I have a, an assistant. So she's in a wheelchair, and the guy's going to her now. Like, um, I'm a psychologist. She's like, what's a psychologist? And part of me is going. Oh yeah, she's going to look old, but I have a younger mind frame. She's been in a coma for 13 years. But you were old enough to willingly, like, want to commit suicide. You would have heard of a psychologist. This ain't like fucking 1940. This is set in, like, the 80s, so there's psychologists around. What the fuck was that about? I don't know. It's beautiful. There's the sun. There's the... Ah, this guy's trying to chat her up and that. And he's just a patient. He's like, at first, he's like, oh, you know, you'll get you in like a nice easy laundry, put some water on it, you know what I mean? Me and you can spend some time there. I was like, that's not very professional, but he's just a patient. That was funny. You forgot something. Violent mood swings! <laughs> oh, you should have said that and smashed the place up. Would have been so much better. Just do that to me when I need to touch you. You can't do it to me. You can't, you can't. Just... Uh, so were these a couple who just both have borderline personality disorder or are they both patients that met? They look like a couple. Weird. Zombies from outer space. They were from Atlantis. I had pictures. Shut up. Just, just tell us about the orgy, Cynthia. Uh, he was like, don't listen to it. She writes about Elvis zombies from outer space. Just tell us about the orgies. Like, you don't even fucking know, right? Uh, when it all gets too much, you make a little hole and it all escapes. And it looks like he's got fucking Norton crosses scarred into him, right? Excuse me. <gasps> Uh, excuse me, huh? And he's just there, like, all right? We love you. I mean, ah, okay, there we go. Finally, he is a burnt kind of ghost. Right, so... The reason I'm a bit like, why is she freaking out? I get it, you're seeing them. But earlier, she goes... The guy goes, what are you going to do? And the guy here, she goes, oh, I'm going to basically do the exact same thing. I'm going to find people in a place like that. And the guy's like, they're all dead. It don't exist no more. No, she said she's going to find... She's basically just going to redo it again. So when he turns up for anything, she should be like, oh, here you are, but she freaked out, right? Admittedly, he was all burned up and shit, and she was like, fuck, I did Freddy last year, shit, don't sue me. That's what it was. She didn't, they didn't tell her this was going to be this film. She thought, oh, first ten minutes, and then he goes into, like, a love story, something different. 
Oh fuck, fuck. Didn't read the script. Well, they're all screaming into pillows and shit now, are they? Okay. Reckoning is at hand. That's so weird. That's exactly what I'm I mean. He said they got like basically like borderline personality, which you know means you know you can kind of switch from one personality to the other. But they're kind of treating them like they're all like you know, you know, don't really know what's going on, kind of thing. Scream into a pillow, kind of thing. <laughs> I'd be like. Uh, excuse me, sir, why are you telling me? And then my split person would be like, You fucking tell me to scream at the pillow, I'll fucking tell you. would be like, No, like, you know, that's my problem, not screaming at the pillows. What's that gonna do? Except wind me up. So I'm guessing that's supposed to be fuel. Why don't you, like, pour it around the house instead of one spot? I don't know. Our love will never die. Our love will never die. Go on then. Uh, look at them all just sitting there, just like, oh, I can't wait to be burned by the flame. Uh, the one that's gone now. This is why I mean, like, even an idea of, like, oh, if we all die together. And he's just like, fucking hell. If we all die together, you know, um, we'll be like that. But why do you have to burn in excruciating pain? If that's the case, not that I agree with it. Why don't you do, like, the Charles Manson thing? Just take some fucking, what's it, they poisoned themselves. Quick death? Nah, I gotta burn to death. Screaming in agonizing pain, I'd be like, fuck that, I'll get new friends. Well, duh. And they're all just laying around, kind of crawling, like, ah, oh. and he poured it all on himself. Oh, he's wise, he made sure they all burned first. You failed us all. Oh, you failed us all? Insane journey. Well, he, he's not forcing it weirdly, he's not like, you bitch, you need to burn. And look how he's not even flinching. Lynching, flinching, bro. He turned into Freddy and he's like, all right. So that's what saved her, because it blew up and she fell to the side. A bit of wood saved her, wood that would have burned. Yeah. Ah, go off, bro. And, um... No, somehow so again, I knew it was years wrong later, and I ran. And the way she's speaking, it's like, is she supposed to be imitating, like, a younger woman? Which ain't the case, because even in the flashback, she weren't young. Pretty much the same age, you know? Or... Is she all along, like, you know, not being all there? Because we didn't know, really. Oh, are you, are you alright? Sorry, we're trying to take this home from a little bit serious, so you're not going to get your obligatory tits out. This is as close as you're going to get. Magnify times 20. I can see a poke of the nipple. Bet your ass. If you need a, a friend, a new, a new friend, please. I could be your new friend. I'll be dead by tomorrow. Just a second. She didn't mean it. So she said, leave me alone. She started crying. Now she's been all, oh, I'm sorry. You just like, leave me alone. Oh, I'm so Pathetic. Oh yeah, 30 minutes in, we better probably get some other kind of horror scene in a horror film. Come on! Bad. Come on! Bad. Come on! Come on! Come on! Well, I say horror scene, flashback. Okay. Fine. Yeah, it's like, bitch. Bitch. Like, Jenny, that was quite funny. She didn't look like she was expecting that. I think she's like, oh, fuck. Well, so she's just remembering when she got all wet. Cleanse. All right, fucking hell, man, get a breathe and cleanser again. Like, fucking hell. What are you trying to do, cleanser insights? Fuck. Woohoo! You like the freaky stuff, huh? That's cool. Right, so uh, of course he's just dreaming it, like, but. Yeah, I warned you someone else would take your place. <laughs> I warned you someone else would take your place, all right? <laughs> So that woman committed suicide after being, like, slightly offended? Like, you know, 10% offended, maybe? Pathetic! She's 100% been through worse, but that's the moment she committed suicide. Obviously... This is what I mean, kind of, like... No one saw it happen. It weren't a physical thing unless she kills herself. Like, like... There is bits of, like, Fred, yes, but not really, so... It's not a rip-off as much as it might I thought it was going to be. But wait! Ah! 
We are gonna start billing you for those outbursts. Yeah, you bill us and our family for every goddamn animal. This guy is actually probably my favorite character just because literally randomly all just like outbursts of violence is like relatable, my friend, relatable, like, you know what I mean? Oh, shit. Unhappy people do stupid things. True, but all you've done is have a go with her and she, apparently that topped her over the edge. Like, really? Death and destruction. They get her someplace nice, like... Another thing I should have mentioned, which I can't believe I didn't, it's literally just hit me now. I was like, what the fuck? I was actually waiting out for that. Uh, um, so... I'm guessing quite a bit of time has passed because they showed earlier she was in a wheelchair, you know, it's, if you're in a coma for 13 years, I imagine it's not an overnight job, you can walk again, right? Literally, like, not an overweek job. I uh, just realised she's fucking running about the place. And he specifically showed a scene earlier of her training her legs, and I think it was like the scene after that, she's just... You're welcome back anytime. Right? What the fuck? See this woman actually is first very standoffish now with the lady on the left and she's just to her then like do you want to live do you want to die do you want to live she's like I want to live okay we're in business we're friends she's you know got good intentions like weirdly a lot of these characters got good intentions although I'm not sure about the way they're tackling them if I'm being honest with you it's like I get borderline personality but I'm pretty sure this you read upon another kind of condition and I know oh, that's borderline personality I've, I don't think this is how it works, that's what I'm saying, you know what I mean? But anyway, the characters seem to be okay so far. Respect. No. Is she gonna die now because he's here? Ah. No. Miriam! So basically this, I, I get what she's like, is she not making friends with them because she's too scared that they'll die? Which don't make sense because she was happy for everyone else to fucking die that she apparently loved. And when she woke up out of the coma, she weren't like in regret. <sighs> but it's sad the idea is like all these people now with her new culty friends. Is that how it's going to be explained? I don't know. <clears throat> and she fell down the fucking stairs. <clears throat> fucking. Oh, I. If, Again, just come out of a wheelchair, but she's fucking running around faster than I fucking can. So no excuse for the fucking fall, love. <laughs> well, she just dived out of a window. She didn't get thrown out, she died. She didn't turn into a rubber doll and dived out the window. No one saw her. You were looking in the room and she was right there. What? Cynthia, we're all upset about what happened. Okay, so this is where the Freddy problem does come into play because it's not a physical entity. It kind of, like in Freddy, when the guy and he's got his veins, they all go, oh, are they killing themselves? It's... I'm, I'm, I need to look into this. Did, like, obviously this film came out, but after it came out, was there a court case? I... I'm not going to let that happen. Might have been. Join us. No. Keep your promise, little child, and join us. Love that shit. So pathetic, rutting like rabbits. I'm only doing it because in the morning I can enjoy hating myself. I only do it because in the morning I can enjoy hating myself. Oh, fuck me. This is, uh, again, like some of the most realistic shit I've ever seen in a film. Death and destruction. Ah! They're about to have a quickie and Lynch is following him. Is he joining in, watching, filming? Don't know. So they went from a bedroom that was perfectly good to him going, I know another place we can go. What? So he basically walked into Freddy's basement. Already, like, you know, probably shouldn't make any Freddy references or anything like, oh, that looks like a Freddy scene. Well, you fucking, I... I think uh, this is an experiment. It's like... Let's basically make a film as close as we can and not get sued. Is that was that the experiment? I seems like. I don't know. So why is he taking her there to like shag anyway? That's like what are you gonna do? Lay on the concrete floor in front of that? It'll be freezing as fuck. You probably won't be able to get a stiffy because you'll be too fucking cold. Your cockle inverting to become a vagina. Is that, is that the fetish? Right. 
And also, how the fuck does he know something's stuck in the turbine four seconds after? Who's reported it? How do you know something's stuck in the turbine? But didn't you say there's like two dead bodies mushed up in it? In it? No? Like... What the hell? What the hell? It's just blood here. Ah, lucky mate, have a shower. Like, you, literally, you're gonna need to have a shower, like, you know what I mean? What was that? Like, a hand? What's that though? Is that a penis or... What the fuck was the other piece? Here we go, let's actually see if anyone else sees him. Because she's staring at him now. Look. They're with us now. Like, obviously no one's gonna see him. I'm just curious if he does, like, because how the fuck they explain that one? So he's urine moving about. Ah, uh, look at this. Where's Cardi and Ed? And then just showers blood on her. Well, like, everyone's seen that then, you know what I mean? He has the power. He calls us. How does she know this? I don't know. What? This guy just shoved his hand through a knife. And he's smiling about, I'd never fight this guy. Fuck. Look at that. Um. If that's not a problem to him, bro, put him in, like... No, you couldn't really put him in the UFC. You'd like start chewing your fucking neck out, wouldn't he? Like, but um, basically, I'd never make that guy my enemy. Like, he's just like what? He's like whatever. He... Look, it's fine. I just shoved my hand through a fucking blade. Cut arteries. Will need surgery, but never mind. I'll even pour you a cup of coffee while I hand my piss. My hand must be pissing with blood. I was in all like a pool of blood. And then he smacks a copper. This guy's awesome. Do you want cream or sugar? Do you want some sugar? Mate, why did we not get a film of this guy? This guy is so unhinged, like... Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of fully in now. Respect, West Side. I know that everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> and then his bloody hand. And then he fucks off. <laughs> what the fuck? Mate, this guy's weirdly like I'm intrigued, like he's hilarious. So now there's a blood trail, not when he initially fucking stabbed his hand, alright? What? I'm sorry. So this is quite funny, because, like, you know, she's got Richard Lynch to worry about, and now this fucking dude was probably worse than him, to be fair. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Ah, it's, it's just joking. What are you laughing at? Uh... Relax! <laughs> come on! Hey! Come on! Come on! Come on! Like, obviously, Valve is going to die in this film at some point, but guys... Is there like a prequel or like a spin-off for this guy that I don't know exists? Because if so, I need to immediately watch it. Look at him, he's just freaking out. He's just... It's very important that I talk to you! It's like basically zero explanation for what he does. I, I, I'm i all about that. Not myself! Not myself! Look, am I supposed to be? This guy's playing this so well. He's like just switching like that, bro. Like... I'm actually genuinely impressed, like. I come down here a lot, it helps me to unwind. Yeah, I come down here a lot, it helps me to unwind. Just to smash your place up. <laughs> I gotta calm down! I gotta calm down when he's smashing everything up. This guy is fucking actually awesome. Like... Please tell me this actor done a similar role in other films. Ah, he's looking at blades now. Look, he's turned into a psycho serial killer, I guess. And this entire fucking hospital! Right, this is literally like most of the Duddle Spud films. We're like, why are they doing this? Why are they acting like this? There's no explanation. But this is perfect. The guy's just a madhead, like, and good job. Respect. Why? Unity. Unity? It's like U N I T Y. Unity. So obviously Richard Lynch has taken over him, I guess. Is he? I don't know. Well, he's talking about unity and join us, so... Join us. Ah, uh, join us. Fine surgical instruments. Ah! Uh, uh, try that on a court of law, see how that works. This is madness, so he just guts himself. 
Oh, get in. All right, no gets pouring out. Later. Later? Oh, fucking, so you got rid of the best character in the film, just he's completely unhinged and fucked, and, uh... All right. Fuck this. Fuck. Fuck. Did you see this? Look at this. So it looks like they've put her in a security psych ward because they just... She's suspect for the murders. All right. I told her what she had to do. You're too late. I warned her, told her what she needs to do. Um, and she's going to drink poison? You won't get me, so she kills herself. What? Well, he got what he wants in the end. He wants you to die? Like, they haven't showed any Shang, so Shang Tsung stuff, but he's taking your soul. He just wants you to die, but... I'd be like, nah, fuck that, man. Like, no, like, I'm not killing myself. Fuck that. I'm taking you out first, innit? But... Right. What? He just ran over the doctor. Ugh. Ah, he's like, oh, fuck. Ugh. So he's leaking petrol. Now his car's blown up. Like, I thought this guy was... Oh, he, dream he dreamt it. Alright, the film's called Bad Dreams. You know, this is like probably the only time in Dead or Spell I can be like, fuck you, the film's called Bad Dreams, alright. Um, but I was gonna say, what, well, like, you know, Richard Lynch could take over you, I guess, and have a. Point in the scene, no, because it didn't happen. Pathetic! Everybody in Detroit gets wasted. They're like 100 cc's of this, everyone gets wasted because it's liquidized cannabis, and like, you had the flashback of everyone taking it, so it's just like an anti drug film, and like. They were all on drugs the whole time, is that what they're going for now? Ah, go on, bro. Well, so he just opened all the doors instead of just using a pass to get in? Right. Now, these drugs are what drove everybody to suicide. So he's saying the drugs is what drove everyone to suicide, not Harris? No, he just got smacked out by the doctor. It's your decisions. So, the doctor was doing this experimental thing with the patients, and I was always driving them crazy, but she's trying to say it is still... Choose, Cynthia. So, is it or not? It's so beautiful. Like, yeah, she was always suicidal. She was always going to commit suicide. Unless this is a bad dream. Well, duh. Okay, so she's just woken up imaginarily, very, like, Freddy-esque vibes, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, what? So, he grabbed her, oh, fucking hell. Oh, hell no! Alex, let her go, she's made a choice, she can't- Ah, uh, let her go, she's made a choice, he's holding on to her, she's trying to get up, she's just all fucked, she's like, you know. But why is he not pushing him off a ledge? Oh, here we go, about time. Ah, he's stabbing his hand! Look at this! You could literally just uncuff him, but you're just stabbing his... And he's still holding on. This is hilarious. Alright, what the hell's going on up here? Ah, uh, what's going on here? Uh, just trying to stab a guy who's fucking holding on to another woman. You know, what's it look like? Alex was caught red-handed. Ah, he's trying to turn it on him. He's caught red-handed trying to fucking murder her. Jesus, he tried to kill us! Oh, Alex. 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 Oh, no, so it's him who got the gun. He's just gonna shoot himself. Do it. Do it? Wrong again, Alex. Ah, wrong again, Alex. No! So, is that Richard Lynch or not? It's just what she saw him. Somehow she knocked him over there, all right? Pathetic. Nah, that copper was like, saves me the paperwork, love. Sorry. Okay, so that was Bad Dreams from 1988. So, what I said in the intro, or what I read up about it, it was like, it's just a rip-off of Nightmare on Elm Street. And I was like, ah, you only say that because, like, the woman's in it. But then I read up more about it, you know, very similar setting. As the film goes on more, there's definitely some points where you're like, you're taking a piss here a bit, buddy. You know what I mean? But it kind of does enough different. Although there's a lot of elements that are similar to Freddy. Freddy's obviously better, you know, there's a lot of it out there now. This is more of a psychological element and then... They do the whole twist where it's like, no, it's the patients who are on an experimental marijuana medication that makes them kill people. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, you know, 
But then it kind of clarifies that, you know, it was really. Because it only started happening with a woman. And then at the end, she sees Richard Lynch. She's kind of like, you know, um, honestly, it wasn't like amazing or great or nothing, if I'm being completely honest. And like, you know, the whole thing about knowing it ripped off um, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, I couldn't help but notice certain points. But the woman does play a completely different character. Nightmare on Elm Street 3, she's like very confident got a knife she's like fuck you like you know honest she's very reserved and stuff so fair play to her acting she plays a completely different character it's just a similar set in richard lynch is burnt they should have done something else but so they definitely did rip it off a bit it knows anything um honestly like with with done or spell i tend to do like a lot of wacky films a lot of these b movies but this was fairly competently done there were some moments i was like really like a lot of off-screen deaths and shit like that if i'm honest with you but you know not all films need to be a gore fest to be good do they you know what i mean honestly i haven't got really too much to say about this like what you saw in the commentary obviously i'm you know having a laugh with what i say but this is just on the line. I guess I'll just give it a spread, just due to the fact it was competent, competently done. Um, the characters were quite likable, especially the one guy who goes mental. I'd love to see a film about him. Like, you know, where it goes bad is like, oh, uh, this is borderline personality syndrome. It's like, no, you're, you're literally doing like extremes of all like mental illness and just chucking down the borderline there like you know they're much more than that going on but whatever it's a film you know you know what i mean um yeah it was it was all right blatantly a rip-off but richard lynch was quite cool in it when he was in there um the deaths could have been better but whatever i've seen a lot worse you know what i mean so that's what i mean that's why i guess i gotta give it a spud uh on the line is this something i'd say to someone got their way to watch honestly no no there's a lot of other things i'd recommend over it but you know, if you had, like, this and, I don't know, fucking Baby Cat, I'd be like, chuck this on, you know what I mean? Even though I get Baby Cat a spot, whatever. Um, if you've seen this film, let me know what you thought of it. Do you agree with my, you know, review and reactions? Otherwise, honestly, I haven't got too much to say about this one. Yeah, decent job. Just, ah, you done decent job. That's all I got to say about it. Um, so, until next time, I've been Malcolm Mac. Thanks for joining, and uh, peace out. Oh. Maniacal Mac. Mac.